<clears throat> this is Mr. Inadequate playing Farming Simulator 22, Elm Creek. This is, I believe, episode 2. Could be episode 3. I'm sorry that I'm not that. I'm a little tired. This will be coming out on January 2nd. So, Happy New Year! And uh, my honey is getting produced. Oh, I bought a... Uh, forklift to handle the crates. These The greenhouse things are being sold and we got eggs being produced because I did buy chickens. So, now, P. Oh, no. Okay. Now, I got sorghum growing in there, just planted it. As you can see, it's just now growing. This is about ready to harvest, but not quite yet, soybeans. And this needs cultivated on a contract, I believe. And I'm probably going to do that, but first I got some other things to check. Is the seeding done? Pretty sure. That should be the cultivator there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. I've got that hooked up waiting to get crates on it. That's got a bale handler. Okay. Now, I haven't done a contract before, so, no, this must be it, no, yes, okay, now, huh, I could do this contract, but this one is right next door. And we will get this oh get this started. Might be the whole thing, the whole episode today is doing a contract. So let's unfold the cultivator. And get this going. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's having a happy, happy. I hope that 2022 will be a better year. Though we do have the COVID still. Myself, I am fully vaccinated. I might have to trim that edge. See how long it takes me to uh, punch this out.
I'm still a little tentative on these things. Ah. Well. Yeah, I did uh, screw up the edge a little bit. I think as long as I do the majority of it, they'll consider it done. Should bring me up to uh, 11919000 Not a lot of money in the long run, but I wanted to do something. I'm waiting for my field to... Uh, get harvestable and that's going to take a lot of work ah. Hold on, my suspenders want to come off. Yeah, I'm old man, I wear suspenders. I'm going to have to harvest that soybean field. <clears throat> Mostly myself, I think, because it's very wonky shaped. And this is a big field. I'm going to hire somebody to do this. Let that get done. Check the eggs again. I think tomorrow, the next day, September 3rd or whatever. Yeah, the honey's getting there. We'll move that as soon as it's full. Yeah, 33 is fertilized. You can get another fertilization once we got crops grown in it, I think. I don't know. It's That's a learning experience for me. Now, I don't really need it. I think I need anything else. We are going to go over here so I can show you where my beehives are. I think I have placed them. So they will increase the sorghum yield, I'm hoping. That's not growing yet. I mean, it's growing, but it's... You still doing it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
how's the honey doing? Honey seems to be doing okay. Now, I want to get out, check the water in these. Plenty of water. Plenty of water. See how much sorghum I have in here. And then go check the chicken, see how their sorghum's doing. Oh, that ain't telling me anything. Oh, okay, 11,000 liters. Almost 11 and a half. Still waiting on eggs there. How are we doing here? Huh. Okay. Now chickens can be fed sorghum, wheat, or barley. Okay. So I was right on the sorghum. Now let's ride along with this guy. So this is just work on the uh, farm, getting neighbor. I'm right by this field. I could conceivably buy this field once it's cultivated. He does it so much nicer than me. <laughs> I'm still learning. I want to get this field cultivated. Now I could conceivably do wheat in this field. And there's another field over there. Thirty. Huh. So I would have thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, and thirty-three. If I bought thirty and thirty-one, we will see. Ah. Uh, Might have to buy more equipment. Conceivably another harvester. And, I, and if I do, it'll be another New Holland. I like those New Hollands. <coughs> oh, and in case I haven't said this before, I did learn what to do, what I was doing wrong on loading it into my silo. You gotta wait till it tells you and then hit I to overload it. So basically I'm just going to watch this guy harvest or uh, cultivate for a while.
And then I might buy this field and seed it. Well, I haven't decided what to do with uh, 32 yet, where the soybeans are growing. I would like to get that harvested, cultivated, and seeded, and I'm going to have to do a lot of that work myself. I may not do it on camera. Now, this is, as I said, January 2nd is when this is going to come out. And, uh, January 4th will be something similar to this. And then January 6th will probably be the same length as uh, New Year's and Christmas Eve. Or New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve. Because it's my birthday and I want to do something special. After that we will see. I'm wondering if another map will come out and I can do a similar setup to this. Start my own farm base. And maybe do it a little harder with... Uh, Weeds and racks on, needing lime, stuff like that. Still won't do seasons until I got everything pretty good. And I will continue to play this. This is the series I'm doing. And yes, I know. But you're using workers. Yeah, well, I'm the farm manager. And I have enough money that I don't have to worry about it. Hopefully in my second series on Elm Creek, and I'll do a similar setup to this, except probably more animals and no greenhouses, I will uh, <coughs> do the seasons route. i got to figure that out. <coughs> and I hear that precision farming is coming either as a mod or a DLC. And by DLC, I mean a mod that giant does. Uh, once I get seasons down, I'll see about precision farming. I intend to play this for a long time. I really like it. I'm kind of lazy today. I'm hoping I can do this and January 4th videos today. My wife's at work. And, uh, Basically, I'm home alone, so I might as well knock out a couple of videos. And the greenhouses, I got them on sell. I'm just going to leave them alone. Let them do what they're going to do. Fill them with water when they need it. And the chickens, I do have to sell the eggs. I should have enough uh, feed for a little while. And I got an other field of sorghum growing, and once I put that in the silo, I should be set for a while. Probably keep growing sorghum in that. I know realistically in real life that's not a good idea, but I got the beehive set up alongside of it for the extra yield and all. And I'll <coughs> I have to check on the honey. It'll be a while before I have a full car, full uh, trailer to. And I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it with eggs and honey. Cause there is a place that takes both. And I don't care about the whether it's the best price or not. If I can sell both in one trailer, that would be nice. And you know, there isn't just doing the work in this game. It's managing things growing and stuff like that. There's other things I'm going to have to learn. 
for example, uh, if I grow wheat and honey, that might make cereal so I could have a uh, cereal factory and sell that. Or I can make bread. I think that's wheat and eggs. And uh, I don't know if the baker takes the wheat or if you got to get a mill to grind it. I'll have to look into that. Well, setting up production, have my own little farmer's bakery. And uh, <coughs> until I figure out exactly how to set it up so I'm getting crates, I, I really don't know. There's three settings and I don't know which one's the right one. And uh, for the greenhouses. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let them go directly to sell. It'll bring in a tiny bit of money. Next time I won't use greenhouses. Honey and eggs, I think, is the best. Though I could go sheep and then bring the wool to the spinnery. I want to clean up my uh, equipment here. Hasn't rained lately in this game. Let's see some things here. Yeah, okay. Just checking on field 32. I'm thinking tomorrow it'll be ready to be harvested. And uh, this is going to be uh, me talking. As I said, I'll be hitting 70 on January 6th. Which is remarkable. I'm a recovering addict. I, in July, I'll have 29 years clean. July of... 2023, it'll be 30 years. I can't imagine it, how I managed to do it that long. <coughs> Wish that I hadn't been an addict. I smoked pot and drank alcohol for, uh, I think it was 22 years. So I have gone past how long I was in active addiction with how many years I've been in recovery, which is gratifying. And, <clears throat> you know, games like this are good where I live. <clears throat> I live in upstate New York, and it is winter time, and we're going to be getting a lot of snow. And what with the COVID situation, I don't go anywhere, because I really don't need that shit. And, uh, I, I used to do a lot of winter hiking, but my hiking buddy moved to Florida, and I don't really have anybody else to, one, hike with, and two, that would hike in the wintertime with me where I like to go. We'll just follow this guy until he gets this done. So the video might go over a half hour a little bit. We'll see. Mostly this video is going to be watching this worker do the contract for me. Pay him a couple hundred dollars. And... 
back at the rest, which I think was like somewhere over 7000 Not a lot of money. It would be a lot of money if I was starting from scratch, which I may do at some point. I mean, when I say start from scratch, I'll set up a farm like I did this one. Get myself some equipment, not necessarily top of the line equipment. And then bring the money down to like $10,000. That's about as good as I can do start from scratch. He's still got a long ways to go on this field. I might put a break in it and end the video and then start again from wherever I leave off and make it uh, two half hour videos doing the same thing. I'm not sure. I probably won't do that. I don't like to do it. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Navy. I like to get the job done. So that means staying there watching them. That's cool too. I really don't have, I could do another contract. There's a bailing contract, but it's quite a ways away. I'd have to look at. I don't need to. I don't know if I need to win an order or not. Probably don't. Have to read the contract. If it said, I mean, I don't want to have to bring both tractors over there. And it's field eighteen, which is not close. Field 18 being, where is it, where is field 18, oh it's up, it's up there, well it's not that far, I could go down here up this road, cut over, be there, so that's not too shabby, okay. Well, I'd rather finish this one and then start that one. It is only 9.30 in the morning. I'm wondering... doing this one. So I'll probably make just under seven thousand dollars on this. Uh, what that bailing? Yeah. Another cultivating. These are kind of far away. Fertilizing. Harvesting. I would only harvest if it was real close. Plowing. I don't have a plow. I should probably get a plow. In fact. Oh. Okay. Let's go to the store. Look at plows. <coughs> OK. 
Okay. Clowns. Just so I have one. There we go. Now I want to. Three hundred horsepower. Pretty sure my tractor can pull this. What's the pack of mat do? Rolls it too. We'll just get the standard. Okay. Wow, it's a big plow. Get this over to the farm without hitting any cars. Holy shit, that's a big plow. I think I'll plow 32 before I cultivate it. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to be real concerned until I get under five million, so <coughs> I got a long ways to go. And I know, you know, some of you people are saying, wow, you've set it up very easy. I am a newbie at this game. I just started playing it less than a month ago. And I'm learning all the way. I went back to 19. What was that? Oh, okay. I went to, back to 19, played on no man's land, just to have open spaces and learn how to create fields and do various things. And I did the tutorial for 22, and then I did some of uh, no man's land for 22, and I decided after watching the video that I linked in one of my uh, videos, Matt Don't Play's video of how he set up uh, the, the farm in the same place I set up mine. I didn't do everything he did. He is far more skilled at landscaping than I am. But I wanted a basic thing with a house, double shed, silos, water. Don't really need the water if I don't do the greenhouses. I might if I do other animals. Chickens don't need water. They just need feed. And uh, chicken ranch is not a problem for me, which might be my next thing. As long as I grow sorghum and wheat and barley, I'll be okay. Soybeans, I don't know. I 
nice little farming community. What is that? Corn or canola? Thirty. Thirty is sugar cane? No. Cotton? Yes, it's cotton. I don't want to mess with thirty. I don't need that. So almost done. Yeah, this is gonna be a little longer than I wanted. That's okay. So a little longer video. Well, I want to. I want them to get this done. Then I'll decide if I want to buy it. And if I buy it, I gotta seed it. If I don't buy it, I'll do the bailing contract. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy it. Not sure what I'll grow here. I gotta look at it. I don't know if I've seen anybody do oil seed radishes. Well, anyhow, come to think of it. I am going to end this video here, and I will get back to you in my next video. This is Mr. Inadequate. I am playing Farming Simulator 22 Elm Creek, and this, I think this is episode two. It could be episode three. Just a tiring day. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy New Year's, and I will see you in the next one.